Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peeking. Just wanted to talk some uh, football right quick. You know, uh, talk some NFL. Um, it seemed like the Pittsburgh Steelers are regressing. Like, they started off hot. They looked impressive their first, I guess you could say, you know, their first 10 games. But then game 11... Uh, they barely won, and then now they have lost uh, two games straight. They lost to Buffalo, and then they lost to the Washington football team. And now people are saying, okay, well, um, their offensive line didn't look that good. They're not providing enough protection for Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger in the game versus Buffalo, I think he threw two touchdowns as well as uh, – Two picks. Now Pittsburgh's defense is is, is is solid, but at the end of the day, you just gonna have them games where the defense ain't gonna be able to uh, protect you and hold hold down the fort. Because at the end of the day, you still gonna have to score points, and this is why I said that I didn't think Pittsburgh would be able to beat a team like Kansas City if they was to go to the AFC championship, you still would have to favor Kansas city at the end of the day. Uh, Kansas city look like more than likely they're going back to the super bowl. Unless uh, a team come out of nowhere and, <laughs> you know, be able to keep up with them because at the end of the day, when it comes to Kansas city, it's about being able to keep up. Now, Kansas city, uh, one of their weaknesses is they do have trouble stopping the run. So if you can play clock management with them, keep them off the field, try to run up the clock, then you might have a chance to beat them. But in all reality, if you get into a shootout with them, it's going to be real tough to beat them. So, you know, I've seen that. But then getting to the, the Steelers, they... They got bullied by they got bullied by Buffalo's defense. They really did. So now you just looking like okay, you see some vulnerabilities in Pittsburgh's uh you know, um well they got vulnerabilities in their defense and in they uh and they um offense. You know. You know, they they struggle a little bit with uh they struggle a little bit with the pass, but you know, um they're solid at stopping the run. But as I see it before, some people are saying Pittsburgh mm -hmm. is the was the fakest eleven and old team. But at the end of the day, they have a few more games. Excuse me. They have a few more games to get it together. They're eleven and two. They have, you know, um, three more games. Um, I think if they went out, they still have home field advantage throughout the playoffs. So this, I think, home field advantage for Pittsburgh really is going to come into play. But then again, not really because, well, in all likelihood, they won't be, they won't be any fanfare. So. Right about now, due to the fact that there's not very much fanfare at a lot of these games, to me, a road game is a home game. A home game is a road game. It really just come down to who playing the best football. So, I'm just expressing my concerns. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.